Junkies, welcome to eminijunkie.com, your S Trading Mentors free trading video for Monday, May 9th, 2011. Today we had a total of seven executable trade signals for a max potential of minus 15 ES ticks. This video is for educational purposes only, is intended to highlight our high probability trade setups to give you a feel for the quantity of trades taken each trading day using this approach. A full trading plan and daily live trading room can be accessed via our website at eminijunkie.com. Okay, we opened up in a range environment, and like I do every time we are in a range, I go ahead and show you the trades that set up for our plan based off of the market moving, but we actually trade range trades in our room, and we actually uh, go short up at the highs of the range and go long at the lows of the range. We have some filters and things we use for that. But the, uh, the trading plan as written, it has signals that are set up, and so sometimes we'll be see seeing trades in the plan that even on range days we would not necessarily be taken but I want to go ahead and keep the reporting as consistent as possible so we'll show you every setup range or no range and, and how it would play out so today uh, in range environments produce chop and we know that uh, with our system so today we ended up getting a signal to go long T1 minus 2 there was a little reset we had another signal to go long another T1 minus 2 and then we actually had a signal to the downside as we came down off of that upper edge of the range near the uh, pivot on the day. We had a signal to get short that did produce targets one and targets two. Again, we got down to our lower edge at the 10 o'clock reversal time. The market moved back up to the pivot. So uh, back through the range, there was actually a signal to get long as it pulled off of that. And as it rotated back down to the bottom of the range, that was a full stop out. T0 minus 14. Pulled back to the moving average, signal to get short. First contract was off, no follow through, T1 minus 2. And you can see it's just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And heading into the lunchtime dead zone, there was a, a signal to get long that did produce targets 1 and targets 2 to the upside uh, as it moved back up towards that pivot for 12 ticks. Now we uh, had talked about in our room the area around 13, uh, 39.75, 13.40, the upper edge that pivot, and the lower edge was down around 34.50. And we had mentioned that once this range breaks, we expect there to be stops on both sides. And uh, sure enough, there was. The market came up, broke out of the upper side of that range. You can see the stops were hit during the lunchtime. The market just took off, went up near the Globex highs, found a little bit of resistance, and, and again, created an upper range and just chopped back and forth there. And actually, um, provided a signal entry to get long which was a full stop out T0 minus 14 and then uh, ultimately traded down so that last trade of the day uh, the morning kinda held our own ended up just down one tick but we had a full stop here at the uh, the end of the day as it created this this upper range and so uh, that added 14 so ended up with seven trades minus 15 ES ticks so a little bit of chop in those range environments and uh, to be expected but there is a way you can play that, so feel free to come by our room and we'll uh, teach you all about edge trading off of the range environment. I want to thank you for watching. For more details on this plan, including all the chart setups, or to join our live trading room and video newsletter, please visit eminijunkie.com or just simply click the link at the top of the screen. Thanks, and make it a great day.